All right. A commercial developer hires a market research company to determine the mean household income of those who live within a 10 mile radius of a site. So it's a commercial developer and they're going 10 miles outside each in all directions from where they plan to build something. It's an upscale shopping center. And the first question, um, explain why the commercial developer would do this. Why would you research 10 miles out from where you plan to build an upscale shopping center? And it says, since it says the proposed site is upscale, developer wants to be sure people in the surrounding area will have enough money. That sounds pretty good. The developer will use this information to determine the amount of parking. I don't think it's parking space. Uh, the developer will use this information to determine the outside appearance. Uh, I don't think whether people have the money, to, they already decided it's upscale. So um, the developer will use the information to determine what company will be hired. Now, they're just looking to see if it's gonna be upscale shopping. Are there, is there enough uh, money in the area to support it? So then the next one, uh, question B, how might the market research company get the information? Uh, they could divide the region into 10 equal square equal areas, send out 10 of its employees, ask people outside and near their homes what their household income. That's gonna be, uh, if they're just asking people I don't know if you can totally choose a nice weather day. People are going to, the weather could influence it. The, that sounds like quite a bit of bias in there. The market researchers could call people in the area who are not on. So now if you're only doing do not call, now you're not getting a full representation of everybody. Uh, use democratic demographic data from the federal government. That would include everybody. The federal government has access to all our information, whether we like it or not. And uh, they could have its employees drive around. I mean, yeah, that's drive around and look at the area to see if it seems like that's pretty subjective. So I think the one that is gonna be the most objective would be C, have the federal government data that you know about people in the region.